Hi guys, I am back and tonight we are having mahi mahi served over creamy mushrooms and spinach. Let's start with the ingredients first. I have well cut mahi mahi and here's the package. I got mine from Costco. Then I have spinach. Remember, I keep mine frozen for better quality. One small onion. I have a couple of mushrooms, three cloves of garlic, and four potatoes. I will be making mashed potatoes with those. So I'll go ahead with the potatoes. I'll cut them up in smaller cubes. And the reason for that, it will make it easier for cooking time. In this house, we eat a lot of fish and my daughter really, really enjoys it. Her new favorite thing are the mashed potatoes that I'll be making. I also add garlic to my mashed potatoes and salt and that's it and we put them to a boil. I'm letting her help. She's three by the way. I had somebody who asked me how old is she. She is three years old. Again, back with the mushrooms, I let her cut it with her hands. It's a great activity for bonding. I know I mentioned it before, but also it helps with the child development, such as sensory. Her feeling the dough, her feeling the vegetables, feeling the fish. I do let her touch the fish and then wash her hands after, but it's great for sensory. Now back to the mahi mahi. I'm seasoning the mahi mahi with salt and pepper. I'm adding paprika and also letting her help. After the paprika, I went ahead and I added thyme. I like thyme, so you could add it or subtract it from this recipe. Flip the mahi mahi and repeat the seasoning. Now in a pan, I put a little cube of butter, then I added oil. The butter that I use is grass pad, also from Costco, and here's the package if you are willing or interested in buying it. I let it melt. The reason why I added the oil so the butter doesn't burn. Into the pan, the mahi mahi goes. The cook time for this fish is about 10 minutes or until it's well done, about 5 minutes on each side. It's really easy to cook. Once it's done, I took it out and I used the same pan for the flavor, added onions and garlic. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms that I had cut earlier. Season with salt and pepper to taste. While the onions and the mushrooms are getting cooked, I went ahead and got started with my mashed potatoes. I placed a cube of butter and I'm just mixing it so it could melt. I also saved a little bit of water from the potato water and here it is. The reason for that, instead of adding oil or adding milk to this potato, I just used the water from where it cooked from. The reason for that is just lowering calories. I'm trying to cut down on the calories that we are taking in. So instead of adding cream cheese or adding oil, I'm just using a little bit of butter and the water that it cooked in it. Salt and pepper. And I'm using a whisk. So using a whisk, is, uh, it makes it more creamier than using a mashed potato masher. All right, and taste test, and I'm getting a thumbs up. And here it is. If you find it a little bit more dry to your taste, feel free to add more water or feel free to add milk. Back to my mushrooms. Now I'm adding a small teaspoon of flour and I'm cooking it. You wanna cook down the flour and then I'm gonna go ahead and add heavy cream to this. Mix it. The flour is gonna make it thick, so I just went ahead and mixed it, and I added the spinach. Give that a good mix, and let it cook down. 
it's gonna get thicker and thicker. I'm putting back the fish with the sauce so it could heat up again since we had it sitting at the side so it doesn't get overcooked. This is so creamy and good. I wish you could smell how it smells in my house right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start serving. You see how the sauce is has thickened up and I'm putting it at the side so I could put my fish on top of it and serve it with a mango salad and mashed potatoes. If you are interested in to know how I make my mango salad, drop a comment, let me know so I could create a recipe for you. All right, a closer look and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.